affecting the world and even replacing jobs. Come with us to see the vast and open world of robots. Robots in space. There have been many robots in space. These robots are called rovers. Rovers are little robots designed to explore space. Two rovers like this are called Spirit and Opportunity. Spirit and Opportunity are Mars rovers. They explore Mars. They gather information for the scientists and they also replace dangerous jobs for astronauts. One way robots process information is that they have sensors that help them. They do this by visualizing 2D and 3D objects and send the information to the human controller. Robots are everywhere. Let's check, check out a business using robots. Um, can you explain what you do here? All right. Um, as of now, I'm a technical news director, and that's providing skills, you know, providing the on-air content that you see on your newscast. As of right now, I'm checking my tapes for the five o'clock news. So we're getting prepared for the five o'clock news. So we're just checking everything. And the way I go about that is, is I use this um, raw switcher here. And the switcher here has been programmed to, you know, carry out different tasks and functions. So you see the um, pink right there, the magenta. What I'm gonna do is um, the board is programmed. So I don't know if you can pick up all these letters and numbers. Can you get zoom in and can you see all of these? Here? Let's go down the line here. And so as you can see, come on down, scroll down. All right. So as you can see, those are all different types of functions that the switcher is capable of, um, of carrying out. And you know, they're what we call custom keys. So when I hit the chroma key here, the chroma key effect is set up here on ME2. As of right now, ME2 is in preview. So as Mr. Yukobian gets ready to do the weather, now I put his graphics up and he'll be chromaed out. But without the um, um, keys and without the function, it'll be just the green screen. How do robots help you with your job? Well, we use robots to uh, operate cameras. Uh, a lot of our tower cameras and things are all uh, on top of high locations in the city and on on our t on our transmission tower, and they're remotely operated by uh, computer. Twice a day, at weather service offices, including the one in North Little Rock, they launch a weather balloon, and this weather balloon uh, has a package that it's pulling up into the atmosphere and it's taking measurements all the way up until the weather balloon pops. And Barry, what is that, about 100,000 or so feet? Yeah. Yeah, it's close to 100,000 feet. And the reason why there's two of them, they it, there's, this is one that they used a long time ago. Notice it's bigger. This is a newer one. It's smaller and weighs a little bit less. But what this does is, if you turn, turn around, there's in, instrumentation in here. And this measures the barometric pressure, the air pressure, the temperature, the humidity, wind speed, wind direction, and it measures it as it goes from the ground all the way up tens of thousands of feet up, probably up to close to 100,000 feet up in the air. We hope you learned a little bit more about how robots affect our lives.